remove your front wheel. Dismount your caliper, 12 millimeter socket or wrench, and remove the mounting sliding bolts. Pull from the top towards you, and then up. I'm just gonna spray up the rotor where it meets the hub. It's kind of frozen on there before I hit it with a hammer. I'm gonna, dis I'm gonna dismount the actual outer tie rod end so that I can move the knuckle freely. Just remove the cotter pin. Throw that away. You need to use a new one after. Remove that castle nut. Just tap the knuckle. You're gonna remove the old cotter pin from the axle nut. It's pretty rotted on this. It's probably just gonna break. Might actually have to Wow. Nice. So this is the castle nut locking cap. It's just a tin cover that keeps the cotter pin in place. It's pretty rusted. And that's how you do that. So that's the spring that goes behind it. And there's the cover. 36 millimeter socket for the axle nut. Now we're just gonna take a little magnet and see if we can get that washer out. There we go. You need a 13 millimeter socket with a 12 point to go on these 12 point bolt heads. So I removed all three mounting bolts for the wheel bearing. I'm just gonna put one back in and just threaded a couple threads with my hand tight because when I smack this with a hammer to get this off, I don't want it to fall and uh, hit the toes. Now I can remove this bolt. And just pull the wheel very right off. Now you're just gonna grab the driver's side axle and just slide it right out. Remove the cotter pin from the upper bolt joint. It might be pretty rusted in there, understandable. So we're just gonna break it off, cut it right off flush. The socket will fit on that, and the lower one, it looks just as bad. We'll get that socket to go right over that. 22 millimeter socket. I'm gonna take the top ball joint nut right off. I'm gonna take the lower ball joint castle nut off. That is a 28 millimeter socket. Now to get the ball joints out of the knuckle, so you can hit it with a hammer, you can try that. Um, they both have to come out at the same time to get the knuckle out of the way, so you can press the ball joints out. I like to use an air hammer, um, it just leaves less damage possibly to the knuckle. Now we can just take the old nut off and slide that knuckle right out. So now I'm going to take my air chisel and I'm going to hammer the lower ball joint down. Let's give it a shot. We can put the lower end in, just center it right there. And once you have your press set up,
Make sure it's seated all the way. So we're going to line up the lower ball joint with the stud and the top on this knuckle and just wiggle it up and put the top castle nut on. And now we can put the low castle nut. 32 millimeter socket. Torque specs on this is 80 foot pounds, so I'm not going to reef too much on the air gun. I want to make it bottom out. <laughs> The top is 74 foot-pounds, so I'm going to just snug this up, and then I'll torque it with my torque ring. Lower ball joint, 80 foot-pounds. <whistles> 74 foot-pounds for the top. So I'm going to put my lower cotter pin in, make sure it goes all the way down. And the top one's a little challenging because it's hitting the knuckle, but what we'll do is just pull down on it, then let it seat all the way in. Cut the excess off so nobody gets hurt. So you're gonna grab your new axle, slide it right in. I'm gonna suspend it, try to center it in that hole so that it hits that inner seal and lines up with the splines. Then you can just let it seat right in. I'm gonna take the new wheel bearing, line it up with the splines. I can turn it so the bolt holes line right up. I got new bolts, so I'm gonna put, start the bolt by hand. So I started it by hand, 13 millimeter, 12 point socket. <laughs> Just gonna bottom it out, then go all the way around and do the rest. <laughs> so bearing hub to knuckle bolts are 75 foot pounds. So now we're gonna put our axle nut on. First goes the flat washer. And then what they call a, <laughs> then put the nut on. Just bottom it out. Torque on this is going to be 175, 175 foot pounds. Put our tie rod in back on. Line up the castle nut. Now I put the cotter pin in, line it up. Now we can put our rotor on. Take your new inner pad, center it with those three lock pins. There you go. These two pins right here are gonna line up with those holes in the caliper. See, they lock right in. Now you can take your caliper, you're gonna line this brake shoe up on the slider of the bracket of the knuckle. So just like that, and then the top will slide right down in. Two caliper mounting bolts. They're also the sliding pins. Slide them by hand. It's a 12 millimeter. Snug them up, and then we're going to torque them. The specs are 7 to 15 foot pounds. They give the variance probably for the wear and tear. Um, I'm going to go right in the middle. I'm going to go 12 foot pounds. One seventy five foot pounds, excellent. Took the wheels to one hundred foot pounds. Now we're going to put what you call a spring washer. So it's got some bend to it. it goes in first, then the castle nut cover. Try to line up the pins, the whole. And then your cotter pin, slide that right through. 
that spring washer is doing its job pushing out on that. So we're just going to pull it right through. Make sure it's all the way down, bottomed out. 